Hello guys, so Whiskid becomes the new face of Puma as he signs an ambassadorship deal with a multi-million dollar company. Check this out. Hello viewers, welcome back to Daily Happenings. If you are new to this channel, why not take our time to hit the red subscribe button below. Also, if you are a returning subscriber, you can hit the like button, you can share, you can comment on this video so that we can get back to you. Thank you so much and also more importantly, this is a trying time for Nigeria and each and every one of us have to keep ourselves safe and sound at this time so that we won't be victims of the ongoing hoodlum attacks we are currently facing in the country we could see that it first started from a peaceful protest then it became more violent after some time so it would be expedient for us to actually keep safe this period because na person will get life they tell stories so try as much as possible keep yourself safe keep your family safe Thank you so much. Okay, let's go to the business of today. Whiskey fans all over the world have come out to congratulate their boss as he signs a new endorsement deal with Puma, becoming the new face of the Puma campaign. We could see that Whiskey has been part of the Nigerian celebrities that has been trying to see that Nigeria becomes a better nation as he has been dropping posts upon post despite not being in nigeria at the moment whiskey who is currently in uk had been sending messages to the nigerian government on how to better the country now whiskey now we could recall that whiskey was supposed to release his album on october 15th which is this month but had to postpone the release of that album as he has showed so much passion for Nigeria even when one of his people Ricardo Banks wanted to release a song with both him and Whiskey Whiskey had to tell him to halt the release of the music as it wasn't the appropriate time for him to release the music as it fell during the end SARS period Whiskey has shown over the years to be one of the top Nigeria musicians despite all odds. He has been at the top of his game for several years. Now, Whiskey FC has been one of the strongest farm base in Nigeria. Also, in other news, we could see from other states that new warehouses have been found with COVID-19 palliatives. Initially, it started with Lagos where several protesters and residents entered into Okota warehouse and saw some COVID-19 palliatives. But now we could see that in Oshun State, in Oyo, Ilori, we could see that so many of those palliatives were also found inside those warehouses. So the problem now is that why are those palliatives there why why were they not distributed to the public because those palliatives are actually meant for the public and i really don't know what they are doing there according to one of the people who got palliatives from the, the venue she said that the gari was already getting spoiled so if those materials are there and getting spoiled so who are the people that we are meant to take these palliatives for their own because those materials there we are more than enough to go around a whole state so why we are those things being kept there please go to our comment section and drop your comments so that we can interact also if you're new to this channel don't forget to hit the red subscribe button below thank you so much peace